Phase Technologies. Hi, I'm Kyle with Phase Technologies. If you haven't heard of our company before, we manufacture phase converters and VFDs. The Phase Perfect is a solid state phase converter, and then our VFD lines are phase converting and low harmonic from 2 to 200 horsepower. Everything is made here in Rapid City, South Dakota in the USA. Today I'm here to talk to you about the SD series over here and the 2XD series that's within the SD series line. So let's get started with the SD series. The SD series has a very robust 3R cabinet for outdoor use. We also have a 122 degree Fahrenheit rating for out in the heat. We have bug guards on the bottom and side over here that'll keep critters or anything else you wouldn't want in the drive out of the drive. We have an oil filled pressure transducer that comes with the drive for use in northern applications where you get those really cold temperatures. So this is the SD series. Again, two horsepower to 10 horsepower, phase converting, 240 volt and 480 volt versions. This is the 2XD series within the SD line. This is a phase converting and voltage doubling drive. This drive goes from five horse to 10 horse and we have a 15 horsepower coming soon. So something I wanna show you about these drives, they're very, very field serviceable. You can open up the door here or take off the cover on the other drive. You can work inside, replace any boards that may need to be replaced. There's a ton of wiring room in the cabinet and you can fit your tools in here very easily, hook up your inputs, your outputs, any of your control wires, anything like that. There's punch outs on the bottom obviously for conduit. Another thing I wanna show you is our cooling system. So there is a partition back here and air is drawn behind the boards across the elements that cool everything and out the side here. Next, I wanna show you our keypad and display. As you can see, we have a very easy to use keypad with a large graphic display. It's very easy to read in the sunlight and our menu system is very easy to get through. It's in plain English, comes with a manual, so if you need to look up any of the parameters or anything, you can very easily work through that. Also with the 2XD, since we're going from 240 volt single phase to 40 volt three phase, we have a couple additional options. We have a sine wave output filter, which will cover you in long wire runs. We'll talk about that more in a little bit. And we have recap strike absorb search for suppression. Um, for anything coming down the line, any surges to protect the drive. As far as those long wire runs go, with the 480 volt conversion, you can save a lot of money with the long wire leads going down to deep pumps. You can save anywhere from about $500 to $8,000. We'll have a chart up on the screen kind of showing the savings and how deep you need to go and what savings you can get doing so. Next. We're gonna talk about setup and installation. You'll notice earlier that we had some custom stands made for these drives. Normally they have some tabs on the back for installation, wall mounting. Um, you wanna have six inches of clearance on all sides when you mount these up for heating and cooling. Then when you power up the drive, open this up, you'll see our graphic display here, large, easy to read, and our easy to use keypad. The drive's gonna Say set up constant pressure and hit enter for yes to set up constant pressure. Then it's gonna ask you for your four to 20 milliamp PSI range for the sensor. Um, ours comes with 150 PSI transducer. So just press enter here. Next, it's gonna ask you for your PSI set point. This is what pressure you want your system to control at. So I usually go up to 60. Press enter. Next, you have the submersible pump setting. This is if you wanna do a one second ramp up to 30 hertz, that'll protect the thrust bearing in the motor. Um, so if it's a submersible pump, select yes. If not, change it to no, and then press enter. 
Next, it asks you if you would like to enable restarts. Enabling restarts will allow the drive to turn back on in event of a loss of power. If you select no, you'll have to cycle power or press the run button to start the drive back up after a loss of power. If you select yes, it will automatically restart, so I select yes. Then you can disable manual mode here. Manual mode will run the drive at 60 hertz um, for as long as you want it to. I usually select yes so the end user uh, doesn't accidentally put it in manual mode and just run the pump constantly. And now you have your overcurrent limit. I usually set this to the service factor amps of the motor. Uh, this will prevent the drive from putting too much current to the motor and possibly burning it up. And now you just press the green run or auto button and the drive will take off and control pressure. And it's that easy guys. Again, quick recap here, I've got the SD series and the 2XD series within the SD series. These are water and irrigation specific drives. We've got a great 3R outdoor enclosure, 2 to 10 horsepower with our 15 horsepower 2XD coming soon. Quick and easy setup and a lot of room on the inside for wiring. I want to go over our product lines again really quick. Uh, like I said before, I've got the SD in 2 to 10 horsepower. It is a phase converting drive and a phase converting and voltage doubling drive for the 2XD. We've got the APXT and LH lines. These are going to go from 20 to 150 horsepower. They'll be low harmonic. They'll be three phase as well and phase converting. And we've got the 3XD, which is our budget drive. It is 20 to 200 horsepower and is non-low harmonic. We've also got the phase perfect solid state phase converter. It's a 240 volt phase converter and we have a 480 volt phase converter coming soon in the future here. We also have some training notes available for you if you'd like to use them. In the comments below you can click the link to download them. And if you need any more information, you can go to phasetechnologies.com. Or again, my name's Kyle. Give us a call if you've got any questions. And thanks.